So there's a glitch you can use to get double loot at the end of the dual destiny mission. This means run the mission once and get two exotic class items. And it's simple to do but there are a couple of requirements. But you don't actually need an eager edge sword. As I am seeing many many people say as a requirement. You don't need this. Trust me, today we're getting to it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this glitch happens at the end of the Dual Destiny mission, which obviously rewards you that exotic class item. But before we start, there are a couple of requirements. Firstly, you and your teammate, the person you run this with, need to be on the same character class. Two Hunters, two Titans, two Warlocks. Simple. And secondly, you need decent timing. That's basically it. Anyone who says you need an eager edge sword is lying to you. You definitely don't and I'll prove it to you. So within the final encounter within the dual destiny mission, defeat those bosses. Then guys, don't move, stay in this area. This is where you can practice that jump and it happens right here at the back of the room. You just need to jump across to this spot. What this spot does is when it matters, it will state joining allies. And it's this which glitches out the game allowing you to grab that exotic class item for the second time. You just need to be fast in getting here. I made a point of doing this without stomps on my hunter, with eight mobility and without using any sword to help extend my jump. And you can see that on screen now. My pal did it on his hunter with 20 mobility and he still made the jump. And we were doing it completely fine. But there are many things you could use to get across here if you're worried about time because time will matter and I'll explain that in a second. You can use grapple hook, you can use the storm's edge uh, on the hunter, the thunder crash on a titan, heat rises on a warlock and many many other things. Okay so to do this guys this is how this glitch works. Defeat the boss and then push forward and stand on those pads. Upon you dying you respawn and there you can select a battle or peace. Here you want to select peace. Upon you dying again guys, once you respawn, you'll see that those two podiums will spawn in with those class items on them. But wait, once you pick up that class item, here you have about 15 seconds to get across to that point that we just was at, that turning allies point. So face this way guys and pick up that class item with your friend at the exact same time because timing is key. Then quickly make your way across to that point where it states joining allies. If you get across here quick enough guys, once you've joined allies, you'll respawn inside the arena or your screen will go black and you'll end up back on this ledge. This part can be a little bit buggy though. So once that joining allies has come off your screen, make your way back to that podium where that second class item is and make sure you pick this up with your teammates at the same time. Again, it can be buggy here and if one of you picks you up with the other one not being there, it can vanish and basically disappear. And that's what happened here with my pal He's now picking up without me even being there so I lost out on the second one on this run. But hey, is what it is. Now the reason you have 15 seconds to do this once you pick up that first class item uh, to make your way to that ledge where it says joining allies is because you need to get to that point before the mission timer pops up on your screen. So here you do have to be semi quick. But no sword is needed, nothing else is needed, you could just run like I did and then just jump across. So yes, do what you gotta do, people. Now, if you're struggling to do this mission, you have no one else to play with, you're a solo player, leave your gamer tag down below and hopefully someone will help you out. Use my comment section as an LFG to find people to do this with. Now, if you don't know about the Dual Destiny mission, I have a complete guide on this uh, from start to finish, nothing missed. I'll link that in the video description too, if you do wanna check that out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take advantage of this while you can. Um, it's going to be patched sooner or later by Bungie, probably sooner rather than later. So yeah, do what you got to do. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully I will see you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these bids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.